All right, hello everybody. Hope you're having a good day. Today, I'm going to be going through a walkthrough on the Vision OS 1.0 simulator. Yes, this is the first Vision OS simulator out there. Now, if you want to try this yourself, you can do it if you have a Mac running Mac OS 13.4 or later. I just have this MacBook Air on 13.4.1. And so go ahead and install the newest version of Xcode and install the Vision OS SDK with it, and you should have here under Open Developer Tool Simulator. And so we're going to launch this. I'm going to full screen it. And here we go, you have the sounds. And here you go, you have this boot up animation. There you go. So this is the whole UI. You've probably seen this if you've seen the WWDC um event but yeah there you go so here so we start off with this whole home screen from what i've heard this home screen is actually called internally so in ios the home screen the home interface that you see every day is actually called switchboard from what developers have found this whole ui is actually called surfboard Yes, surfboard. So yeah, there you go. That's what this whole interface is called. So yeah, as you can see, when I like go over some certain items, you'll make like a sound effect. And I assume the reason for this is because when you actually put on Vision Pro, you don't interact with it with things like your hands or whatever, or like a controller or whatever. You interact with it with your eyes and you know your hands as well, kind of. Where basically, like, if you want to select something, you uh, simply move your eyes and glance at what you want to see. In order to select it, just pinch your fingers and we'll launch up whatever it is. And so I'm pretty sure the sound effects are there so that you can uh, figure out where you want to actually select on first. And up here, this little arrow thing, it's very tiny, but this little arrow thing is your control center. So... Here you have your control center, kind of like what you are familiar with, with your iPhone, iPad, and your Mac as well, and your Apple Watch as well, um, and your Apple TV, basically all Apple platforms. Um, so yeah, you have your control center. <laughs> the sound effects are kind of loud there. But yeah, you have your control center. Um, it kind of looks familiar to what you can find in Mac OS, um, except it has some small subtle differences. So up here, yeah, you have some small things. You have uh, your date and time. You have a uh, battery percentage here. And you have this little mode. This is your volume slider. This is your volume slider. And this is your home. This is your home button. Um, and up here, this is your actual control center. Here is your environment. This is your environment. So you can make it dark, which it looks like it doesn't really work properly right now. So we're just going to keep it light. And then here is your notifications. Here's your notification center. Um, obviously, there's no new notifications here because there's no apps in here. Because, you know, this is just a simulator. If, if you're a developer developing for this whole um, OS, then you might make an app with, you know, um, your apps and notifications, things like that. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's the Vision OS, um, uh, little thing there. So here you have, you know, your settings, uh, the pre-installed apps on here is settings, freeform, safari, photos, files, and these compatible apps, which are, these are all iOS apps. So these are all from iOS. And so there you go. That's all the apps right here on the home screen. Over here is your people. So you can FaceTime people directly from here. And here's your environments. So in your environments, you can select where you want to be. So here you have your mount, you have mount hood, summer light. It looks like these don't really work properly right now. Either that I'm not really doing anything um, that makes them work. But yeah, all right, let's open up an app. Let's open up settings. There we go. So you can actually move the app with this little like indicator bar at the bottom. 
it sort of reminds me of like the whole gesture bar on iPhone 10 and later, which is kind of cool. Um, so here you, it's a very familiar, you know, settings interface. You simply just uh, use this to scroll up. I don't know exactly how you scroll up with um, the Real Vision Pro headset. I assume you use it with like your fingers. Um, but yeah, you simply scroll up on here, the simulator, you have to click and drag. Um, and if you move around with your mouse on the simulator with two fingers, it will just uh, move around the environment, which is cool. So here in Bout, you can see that uh, this Vision Pro, its name is this uh, thing is Apple Vision, Vision OS version 1.0. And the build of this version is 21N5165G. And yeah, there you go. You have your model number, Apple Vision Pro, and all that stuff. These are just specs of my. Some of these specs are just my Mac, so like the storage here and things like that. And so there you go. So you have your keyboard here. Um, this is very familiar to like um, your iPhone or your iPad, and I guess also your system settings and Mac. Um, and you have transfer reset, this Apple Vision Pro. So this is sort of, again, like iPhone and iPad. Um, looks like it doesn't really work properly right now, but you know, that's whatever. Um, and here you have these app things right here. You have compatible apps. You have your people, environments. So you can set up, you can increase the volume of your environment if you want. Um, you can change the uh, appearance of them. So it's a sort of like dark mode and light mode on uh, iOS and you know the Mac and all of our Apple's platforms, iPadOS. Um, so it's sort of like that in a way. You have your notifications. Here you have, you know, your focus modes, um, very familiar. Screen time and, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. Control center, you can customize your controls here as well. Siri and search. Um, and you know accessibility all that stuff you know you're very you're very familiar with all this stuff it's a very familiar settings interface it's just slightly different for this whole thing and you have you know some changes right here your crown button pointer control all that stuff you know crown button this is what's on your uh, vision pro headset you have your display so you can increase the brightness and lower it as well you can adjust the brightness here you have your bold text text size and your display zoom you have compact and you have zoomed so yeah there you go that's the settings app and in order to close out you just click this x button this x button and there you go so let's take a look at freeform in here freeform this is very interesting to have on this headset um yeah welcome to freeform let's say continue and uh, yeah i assume you um, interact with this just by um, using your fingers and things like that. So you simply just put that in a shape. Yeah, so I assume you um, drag this on your fingers in, in the Real Vision Pro headset. Right now it's just sort of you know, your mouse and things like that. And you have markup. So we can like markup on here. So yeah, Safari. Um, Obviously, if you the default web browser on all of our Apple platforms, this one is um, now on Division Pro. Now, interestingly enough, we got a keyboard that just showed up there. You kind of saw that. So here, if we click on that, oh, whoops, there you go. So here we have the keyboard for Vision OS. So let me just uh, move down here. Yeah, so you have your keyboard for Vision OS, and um, I assume the way that you do this is by uh, using your fingers, your fingers, um, sort of tap on them, sort of like you're typing on a real keyboard, um, but this is obviously air typing, uh, like, air play, like an air typing feature. So let's just go to youtube.com. So there we go, there's youtube.com there, running on the Vision Pro, which is really cool there. So there you go, that's, um, that's that, and I assume, I assume um, you simply like interact with it similarly to how you interact with most other apps on here. So that's pretty interesting there as well. All right, let's take a look at these compatible apps. 
Oh, kind of glitch there. Um, so let's take a look at calendar. So it's uh, right about there. Yeah, welcome to calendar. Let's say continue. And yeah, this is very much just like your. Oh, these are how the pop ups show here. So let me. There you go. So this allows you to move around. So yeah, it's this is how the pop up show. So it's sort of like how you have your pop ups on your iPhone or iPad um, or your Mac even. Um, these are how these pop ups will show up on Vision OS. So I'll say allow while using app. It'll ask you for your notifications. And yeah, this is very much just like your regular calendar app on your iPhone, iPad, Mac, etc. Yeah, this is very familiar here. So this is very familiar. If you use the calendar app on normal Apple devices, you probably know how to use this. You probably know how to use this calculator or calendar app. So let's take a look at another app here. Let's take a look at shortcuts. Let's take a look at shortcuts. And yeah, once again, very familiar user interface. You can create a new shortcut, um, stuff like that. So yeah, very familiar interface. It's just, um, just sort of uh, changed up here. It's a very familiar interface. You probably know how to use this. Um, but yeah, it feels kind of interesting to have these whole iOS um, UI elements on Vision OS, but yeah. And there you go. That's basically what that is. Another app, last app I'll show you right now is Files. Files app, you're probably familiar with that on your iPhone and iPad. But uh, here it's on your Vision and it says on my Apple Vision. I actually wonder what icon does I show there? Um, let me back out. It shows a phone icon. It shows like an iPhone icon there. <laughs> That's interesting. But yeah. On my Apple Vision is empty because there's nothing here. But yeah, yeah, there you go. So there you go. That's what this whole UI is. And I assume, yeah, you can also resize these apps as well. So yeah, it's kind of buggy here because <laughs> this is running on the base model M1 MacBook Air. I assume if you're running this on a higher end MacBook, like a MacBook Pro, it'll probably run pretty good. But this is a base model M1 MacBook here, so it's not going to run, you know, necessarily the best. But yeah, let me see if I can open up multiple apps here. So let's, like, open up Safari and Files. Um, oh, yeah, we can. We can. We can open up multiple apps here. So sort of like how you can open up multiple apps on your uh, Mac um, and your iPad with Stage Manager if you use that. Um, and also, I guess, Split View as well on your iPad. But this is more like windowing, like on your Mac. So that's interesting. That's really cool. Um, and I assume you can open up more apps as well. All right, there you go. So that's the Vision OS simulator. Really cool stuff here. It <laughs> Playing around with this, it just gets me even more excited for the actual official thing. Yeah. Playing around with this gets me really excited for the official thing. Um, can't wait to play around with that thing um, when it officially comes out definitely not going to buy one because it's very expensive but um probably going to try one out at like an apple store or whatever so yeah but overall really cool stuff here but yeah, let's see if we can also change the environment up here so yeah we can we can change up the environment here so we have like a museum if we want to do that so this is a museum um environment that they gave us here so you can play around it in a tier. Again, you can try this out on any Mac, I believe. Any Mac running Mac OS Ventura 13.4 and later. But if you have a higher performing Mac, it will obviously run better. This is a base model M1 MacBook Air, and it's still kind of lagged, still kind of laggy on here. So yeah, but and it also takes up a whole lot of storage. It takes up around 10 gigs, maybe even more. So yeah, but it's fun to play around with. It's fun to play around with, definitely. So, yeah, go ahead, try it out. It's a whole lot of fun. I'll link it down below in the description. Um, you don't need an Apple developer account in order to try it out. Just download the Xcode 15 beta 2 and make sure to select Vision OS 1.0 beta 2 when installing Xcode 15. So, yeah, there you go. That's just about it. So, thanks for watching this little demo of the Vision OS uh, simulator. And yeah, there you go. And I'll see you guys later.
Bye.